Let's do the mail then. Uh, more Tories are considering switching to Reform UK. Is the ignoring the public's wishes and getting rid of your most popular leader strategy starting to look a bit flawed, Steve? Uh, very possibly. So Rishi Sunak warned the more Tories are uh, poised to uh, switch to Reform UK. Reform UK, some would say... Deform UK. There's some satire for you. Um, no idea what that means. Double no, So this is following Lee Anderson and um, the defection, a man who said that there was a lot of political soul searching involved. Now, I, I think this is balance, isn't it? I, you know, it might beat me up afterwards, but um, a lot of soul searching or being suspended by the party that you were in. Like, if he hadn't have had the whip removed, that soul searching would have searched less, possibly, for another party. It's like when Suella got fired and then wrote a letter like she was forced to resign. Like, I couldn't stand it here anymore. It was the firing that probably meant that she left. But it's definitely a bad day for the Tories. It's a great day for Reform UK. It's an even better day for Keir Starmer. He must be absolutely loving this. Split the vote down the right. Uh, and it was announced by Reform leader Richard Tice. A man, someone called him a pound shop Nigel Farage once. And it was Lee Anderson who did that, so that's interesting. And uh, he's, probably, he's got a high opinion of a pound shop, and your nickname's 30p. Well, pound that's politics, are, Steve. Yeah. You know, it's locker room talk. Then you switch to another party, <laughs> you know, you change what you say. I'm not too worried about that. Though it, it was a massive Tory on goal. I mean, why suspend him for having a pop at Sadiq Khan? That's, I mean, everyone does that. That's what we, we do that every night. <laughs> we wouldn't have any work. I mean, it was, it was an overreaction. And then James Cleverly sort of doubled down and put him out in the cold even more. So he had, he had no choice, really. And it was a very strange decision. It's going to hurt the Tories because he's a very popular figure on the doorstep, as they say, Paul. What do you think? Well, if he becomes the Pied Piper and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine others go, then it's a much bigger story. Lee Anderson going to UK reform um, is no surprise. I mean, it's a huge story today and now because Reform UK have got their first ever uh, MP, which is which is big news. Um, and I, I know anecdotally, a lot of people really did enjoy Lee Anderson's speech. It, Lee Anderson speaks a different language to the average politician. He speaks like the man in the pub does, and that's what he gets criticised for the most by the politicians to some degree, whereas he... It, it is transferring well across to that red wall, I think. But that'd be interesting to see. I don't think Lee Anderson going to Reform UK changes the dy dynamics of British politics. However, if more people go... Um, it will split the Conservative vote. It, it probably won't take the Labour vote. But the idea of it, the idea of it affecting the Red Wall would be interesting because, of course, that Red Wall defected from Labour and they defected from Labour because they were in support at that point of Brexit and Boris Johnson. And perhaps Lee Anderson represents that to them. He does. And have you heard the Henley plot that Boris may be coming back via this revised Henley seat, so it's all very complicated, but if this, if this female politician steps down, who's known to be a big Boris loyalist, he could get this seat that's just 15 miles away from where he's living anyway. This all lining up for Boris to come back, because let's face it, they can't really do any worse. Rishi's not popular, he was never voted in by anyone. This is a genuine possibility now. And guess who else is, is eyeing it up slightly, maybe, they think? Lord Cameron. So it's all, it's, which blast from the past do you want? Wow. Yeah. Hopefully he's got a referendum in his back pocket for us all to enjoy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, they're in trouble. I mean, he, and I, I agree with you about this. He, he speaks like ordinary people and there's a snobbishness. One Tory foreign minister here is saying, I think 2019 MPs who believe being red-faced and shouty is the way to be a serious politician may follow him. I mean, that's just snobbishness and bitterness because you're yeah. about to get spanked. Well, I grew up in St. Ashfield, St. Ashfield, one of the two Ashfields that he represents. And, look, yes, the clumsiness of the way he phrased things was, was what was focused on. I apologise for the clumsiness was the issue. So they never even... Even the Tories didn't say what he said was Islamophobic. Um, but the other thing that's happening here is peeling off the red wall from this coalition of voters who voted for the Tories. And maybe that... There never should have been a coalition anyway. It was a false one brought together by people's view of Brexit, which has now been done. And if you are from certain Ashfield and you've maybe you're socially conservative, you worry about issues like immigration, rightly so. Do you actually want to vote for a, a party that's going to borrow to spend on tax cuts for the rich? That's not going to help you as you're working right. down Pretty Polly. Yes, absolutely. It's very fact. interesting. Could we have a total realignment in politics as well? Let's see.